Hi soldiers, during the January or February of 2021, Adobe dropped its support for their product, Adobe Flash Player. Adobe Flash Player is a key component to play DD Tank before, but now, players rely on the game launcher, Maxton browser, and other methods to play the game. In this video, we will be doing a tutorial on how to set up Maxton browser to play DD Tank as well as the method that we know that works for the browsers Opera GX and Google Chrome. So the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that Adobe Flash Player is not installed in your computer. You can do this by hovering on the start button and then type control panel. You'll see this, some people may see this, some people may see this. So that we'll just search uninstall programs. You can see it but it's here and then click uninstall a program you want to make sure that adobe flash player is not on this list if you see one please uninstall it now let's head to the tutorial on how to set up maxton browser go to your browser and type maxton 5 we specifically want this version of the maxton 5 and then click on the first link you see you will, you will head over to this site we will put the links in the description below so that it will be easier for you then click the download in the middle of the site I have already downloaded the Maxon installer earlier so let's open it then click install now You'll see this, and then there's a skip login here. You can do that, and then Maxton is installed. But that's not the end of it. Let's head over to the site of the Tank New Era. Uh, when you see that, just click refresh, and then let's try to log in my account. Let's try logging into Server Six Manila. You'll see here that there is an error saying flash plugin is not detected. Please in click to install it and restart the browser. A warn from the DD Tank New Era team, you can close that. Please click to install. Click the install. And now you'll see here that it says flash plugin is being installed. Please do not close the browser. And then after it's done, you will see this notification. Flash plugin is installed successfully. Restart the browser to enable it. Close your browser now. So we want to do that. Close. And then let's open it again. And here we will see the game. It's loading now. I will fast forward this video. As you can see, we have successfully entered the game. Let's turn down the volume a bit. As you can see, we have managed to enter the game successfully. When it's your first time loading the game in a new browser, you may experience some lag, um, a slow loading time. That is because it is your first time loading to the site. The second time, it will be much faster and less laggy. Now, on to the next part of the video is the Google Chrome or Opera GX method. We will teach you how to play DD Tank on these two browsers. Now, what we want to do is to install an old version of Google Chrome. To do that, we have to download it first. Let's head over to the site, SlimJet. We will paste the link in the description below. And then here you can see 32 bit and 64 bit. You can check your computer's bit by going into your file explorer here. You'll see this PC. Right click on that. Properties. And under the system, you will see the system type. You will see 64 bit here or 32 bit. As you can see, I have a operating system with a 64-bit. 
that is why I'm going to download under the 64-bit section. Now, we want the version 79.0. What this does is that it doesn't block Adobe Flash Player from running. Then, let's head over to Control Panel and then uninstall a program. If you don't see that, you can always search, type uninstall, and then uninstall a program. First thing you want to make sure is that Adobe Flash Player is not installed. Next is, let's uninstall Google Chrome. Let's exit Google Chrome, uninstall. Now, it is successfully uninstalled from my computer. So you want to disable your internet connection for a while. You can do that by right clicking here in the monitor icon below in your taskbar. Open network and internet settings and then you want to go to Ethernet. Change adapter options. Click this. You will see this button here. Disable this network device. Click that you will be not connected to the internet and then let's head over to my downloaded files and install the chrome setup that we just downloaded let's click run you can see that it's connecting to the internet waiting to download what it wants to do is to install the latest version of the Google Chrome. That is why we disabled our internet so that it won't update. So you can see here that it is installed. We close that. And then let's head over to File Explorer. Click on this PC. Your local DC. Um, most of the times it is named local DC, some local DC. And for some it's local disk f but you have to find a folder that contains program files times 86 open that head to google folder and then the update what you want to do here is to rename this application you can rename it to whatever you want okay, let's just do a new year click enter what it does when renaming it is that it prevents our Google Chrome from updating automatically. Thus, we can retain the 7.9 version, or rather 79.0 version. Now let's bring back our internet. You can click the internet here, and then enable this network device. As you can see, I am now connected again to the internet. Then let's open Google Chrome. Try going to the but we forgot something. We have but to install the Adobe Adobe first. So we head over to downloads, Flash Player 2021. Flash Player 2021 and you'll see this application here that says underscore Google Chrome. We want to install that. And then when you reach this part, never check for updates because when you allow Adobe to install updates automatically, it will install the latest version that is not supported anymore. So, we want to close the browser. After that, open it again and then go to the site. Just click refresh, refresh when you encounter that. Let's try logging in and let's try going to Service 6 Manila. You will encounter this Adobe Flash Player is blocked. Now, if you look on the top right corner of your screen, you will see this puzzle piece. Click on that and click Manage. You'll see here, Block Sites from Running Flash. Click this button and then it will turn to Ash first. 
and we can close the tab and go back to the delete now site and then the error will say click to enable adobe flash player click on that allow and then reload and then you'll see here on the top adobe flash player was blocked because it is out of date you just have to click run this time as you can see the game is loading so okay now that's done let's close chrome and head over to Opera GX browser now for Opera GX browser we don't have to do any steps anymore we just have to try and log in the site and you will encounter the same error Adobe flash player is blocked you just have to head over to the top right button of your screen click the button manage flash settings and then enable as first then click to enable flash blur you left click and then allow and reload the page again same steps with the chrome and then here you won't receive the error on the top page but you will see the error in the center of the screen adobe flash player is out of date you just have to right click and then you will see run this plugin and then as you can see the game is loading you will not encounter any problems on the loading screen and you will be able to play the game now let's head over to the question which browser should i use maxton 5 google chrome or opera gx google chrome consumes a lot of your computer's ram if you did not know ram is what enables your computer to load different applications something like that we won't get into that any further just the surface of it and google chrome is known to eat a lot of ram the same can be said for maxon 5 but somehow it consumes less ram than chrome and then we have the opera gx opera gx consumes the least ram compared to these two other browsers and also when you hover here into gx control click on that you will see a RAM limiter you can limit on how much the browser uses your RAM so why am I explaining the RAM that is because when you, your RAM is overloaded or your browser is eating too much of your computer's RAM and your RAM is not capable enough of handling the loads it will cause the game to be laggy. If you have any questions about this video, the steps, or about the game in general, you can contact us in our Discord server or our Facebook page. And that is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you learned how to play Diddy Tank on these three browsers. If you have a method that you know that is not in this video, you can comment it down below to help other players. Thank you very much and stay safe soldiers